We were waiting for the divine feminine to come on up and be like, hi, what y'all doing? Hi. Because <laughs> if you watch the weekly, I believe it was in the weekly, we had the emperor. And then we've had all of these masculine cards coming up. So make sure you're watching the weekly. As always, watch the other dailies if you have time to, of course. And I do appreciate you guys for giving me some of this time of your day, you know. Um, but today, June, where are we at? 21st, 2024. We have the Empress. This is Archangel Gabriel. Now, Archangel Gabriel is about a lot of things, but communication, stored emotions, conception, creative life force, manifesting. Um, they say conception. Having babies. If you're pregnant, you need to be working with Gabriel. If you're trying to get pregnant, you need to be working with Gabriel. If you're trying to create a business, Gabriel would be one of them that you would want to work with one of them okay now the number on here is three in angelic numbers this is a holy trinity type energy again it's associated with wisdom often people say ascended masters it's this higher wisdom in human form that then ascends from the human form okay i hope that makes sense so the empress comes forward something we're giving birth to something a new idea a project, maybe an actual baby. Love babies. I love babies. <laughs> Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, or abundant resources. Now see, again, the Empress isn't hurting for anything. Okay? She knows how to attract. She knows how to draw things in. And if she can't have it, if she can't pay for it, she'll make it. She's got no qualms, okay? She's got no problem taking care of things for herself. Now, the Empress also carries, again, that number three. So this divine feminine wisdom, just divine wisdom in general, but then is, is coming into feminine form, which in this duality consciousness is often seen as the lesser form, unfortunately. It's not usually appreciated. We know we go into thousands of years of cycles where that energy that feminine energy is not honored so the empress despite all of that is still the beautiful embodiment of that energy she walks as a reminder for everybody like hey you know th this is a part of your creative life force this is a part of uh, the beauty in this world and it's interesting because i just heard counterpart half of the whole now you guys know if you follow me for any amount of time i do not go into the whole twin flame thing i i don't like the term i think the term is off um hmm. extreme expressions of each of those energies so an extreme expression of uh masculine that's the emperor feminine the empress and when they come together they are a power house but we don't want to go down the road of I'm half a soul until I meet the other. What? I'm going to end this video because I'm going to go on a rant about that. And um, nobody needs it. Nobody needs it. Anyway, <laughs> see how this plays out for you. Leave your comments down below. Let me know how you're doing. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.